On a busy main artery in southeast Baltimore, the retro neon sign and old-fashioned storefront reel you in as they have for 106 years. Tochterman's is celebrating another anniversary. Some notables are locked behind a mini museum inside the store. My dad and uncle again helped design their Ted Williams fishing reels. For Sears. From the best in baseball to the best in fishing, Lefty Cray shopped at Tochterman's and considered owners man. Tony and Dee his friends. He has been uh, awarded as and known as the most influential fly fisherman in the world. There's an old Dawa. Yeah, That's as old as me. But it's the well, everyday, right. longtime customers that have kept them enthusiastic about the business. I started coming here when I was 12 years old with my father. Craig Bell is yeah. back for a new line. Dee and I feel like our customers are our children, and we're here to make it a better shop so they have the right stuff so that when they go fishing, they're going to come back and say, boy, you saw to see what I did. You saw to see what I caught. The stories heard here started February 8th, 1916, before the U.S. entered World War I. Tochterman's grandfather opened it up while he was the manager at the fish market downtown. He saw an opportunity and a need because there was not a fishing store down here that really catered to the bait fishermen. It was then handed to his father and uncle before he took over. They have grown from one building to five on Eastern Avenue. Hofterman's really represent the beginning of this transition. Kate Livy, who has been writing about the Bay for 15 years, says Tochterman's opened at the beginning of what was a movement. Historically, the Chesapeake 100 years ago or before was really considered an economic driver. So you fished to as a livelihood. And Tochterman's really does represent sort of the earliest chapter of public interest in engaging with the environment in this new cool way. And they're still coming in to prepare to play. They carry over 750 different reels and the latest rods. As you can see, just a little bit of talking, a little bit of vibration. You can feel the difference in sensation into the reel seat. So what makes the store such a catch? Most stores, to stay afloat, they can't carry that kind of inventory. It's just too, too much inventory for the return on the investment. Where we can afford to do it because, one, we have low overhead because we own everything. We don't know the bank anything. And so therefore all the money can go back into here. So we can put the money into selection. Tochterman says several manufacturers have told them they stand alone. As far as a store that started out as a fishing tackle store that is run by the same family in the same location, they can't find anybody that's older in the same location in the same family anywhere in the world that's older than we are. They've done limited renovations throughout the years. The wooden cases were swapped out for the glass ones. Customers want them to keep that old time feel. With no kids of their own, the question remains, what's next when they're ready to retire? He says they'll never sell to someone just looking to make a buck. If they will not willing to continue the tradition of making sure that the customer always comes first, I'd rather close it up. But there are no plans to shut the doors anytime soon, only tales about fishing. We're going to go to it no longer is any fun. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.